Hey guys, Mike from one here. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Last time, actually two days ago, I do apologize. I was so tired, I fell asleep. And I forgot to do Animal Crossing New Leaf. So today we're going to make this an extra long episode to make it up for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. And here's Friday, June, July 28th. Check on Mayfair today. Oh wow, we actually have a just one. It's from Cambrera. It item next season from It Girl Cambrera. Okay, no biscuit wants to talk. Oh good, I've been looking for you, Michael. Oh, I've had a fight with Dina. The honorable thing to do is to say you'll say sorry. The thing is, I'm a total chicken, which is why I'm hoping you can help me out, Michael. Can you deliver this present to Dina and tell her I'm sorry? I mean, it was it's an awful lot for me. I'm on it. Sorry to ask you to do this. Here you go. Please take care of it. Oh, can you take care of this today? Sure. But speaking of which, let's take a look at Cam... Oh, gift that Cambrera gave us. Uh, vegetarian tea. Okay. We're gonna also gonna go see Dr. Shrunk's show before I start off with my wild world. You know what, video? Alright, let's go see Dina. Oh, we have a camper today! Unfortunately, we don't have anybody moving out at the moment, but I'm curious to see who this is. Alright, let's see who this is and uh... Who is this? T-Bone! I didn't do any research or anything before I choose a camper. I think I lucked out with this town. We got an ox. <sighs> Not sure about T-Bone. Unfortunately, we don't have enough space. And we already have two grumpy, cranky villagers in our town already. Oh, there's Dina. Howdy, is it perfect picnic weather? Well, how can I help you? Delivery time. Now what could this be? Oh, this is from Biscuit? Is an apology for fighting? Let's open it up. A game shelf. I love this style. How did Biscuit know, Aflac? This is really great. I have to say thanks next time we meet. Thank you so much for the delivery. I think this will help our friendship. Oh, and please take this as a thank you gift. A pear? It's a coconut. Ooh. That's going to be good for Dr. Shrunk. We better go see him right now so we can see him eat a coconut. And let's see what's going on in I Main Street. Nobody's in. Alright, let's go see him. Uh, we're not open for the day yet. Is there something you needed for me? Really? That makes me so happy. What'd you bring me? This coconut. Oh, what do we have here? A coconut? Don't mind if I do. Ooh, that was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor. Alright. Let's see what this joke is today. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shark is in the house. My old teacher's bashfulness joke is... It's sure, it's sure what cured ails you. You know what, I'm worried to be able not to pull this off well as he did. In fact, it might not make any sense at all. Come to think of it, guess I'll have to give it a try anyway. Prepare to see emotion in motion. Now you see the embarrassment appear in the very air. I was talking to my youngest daughter the other day, and then she said I thought I was 110 years old. And then I got very embarrassed. I mean, 110? Do I look that young to you? 
I mean, wow, I'm embarrassed to even use that joke. Wait, is that, if that's what I think it is, I think it is. Let's see what this is. Oh, wow, we do a bow. Wow, that's. I was about to say. Alright, here we go. Let's head back into town. Shall we? Let's check the bulletin board to see if there's any messages on there. Nope. Pudge! What's up, Grizz? How's your How's it going? How How hungry? So anyway, what's up? When the weather's like this, I just get a huge craving for grilled cheese. I'm always thinking about the connection between weather and food. I'm hungry. Yeah, you do that. Rolled. That face tells me you're in fine form, Michael. Go, go, change the iceberg. What you need? Belt pitcher. It's true. Really, huh? I guess the rumor gets one went. Canberra's home. Canberra's home. Angus is not. Oh, there he is. What's up? I'm impressed that you're surviving. Ole. So you want to talk to me? Hey, you know what? I'm Sorry, buddy. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? No, nope, fossil. Great. Just great. I was hoping for it to be a pet. Joy's not home. I gotta heal up. Oh, but Roscoe's home, so let's, uh, let's you know what, actually, let's uh, sell some items. At retail, Blue Bear. Okay, we're gonna sell the fossil, the, the, the buzzoid, Backyard fence and the vegetarian tea and the leopard tea. One thousand two seventy eight. Fair enough.
right, there we go. So let's pay a visit to Roscoe. So we can make him clap. So we get to see everyone's cla favorite clapping horse. And ooh, that's the dragonfly. It's weird. So. <laughs> But it was up. Good for you finding your way to my place, Derby. So, did you need something? I've been thinking something about the future that seems sort of off, and I realize why we don't have any events scheduled in the near future, but you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, busy me through. Is this. There we go. All right, guys. So I'm gonna cut away for a little bit so I can get some wild world stuff taken care of, and I'll be back in a little. Oh, wait a minute. New bug. Shoot. Got it. I got a walking leap. I'm glad it didn't. I'm glad I can't run. All right, I'll see you guys. In a little, I'll see you guys later tonight.